I'm still exploring today, so I haven't, I'm, I'm not necessarily going to the pit on top of the peak today because I've always wanted to know if I can walk around the other side of the peak back to Loxton. And I've just decided to explore this path because I've got a feeling this takes me out near that hotel. So there's not many opportunities to get to where I am now and do this. So I'm going down now. I can hear the road. The road that takes you to Loxton. Crook's Peak will be up there. Now it doesn't matter if I'm not doing it today. I've got pictures of it. I do it a lot. I'm still doing a lot of exploring. Um, going up different routes and that sort of thing. And this is this is actually a quicker way to um, the church back there, to Compton Bishop. I've never done this bit. This is like a shortcut. So I'm cutting out the peak, which is right up there, which I can do on another journey because I wanted to. I've always wanted to explore this path. So that's my excuse. I'm not trying to get out of doing Crook's Peak. Now, what it does mean, though, what it does mean, if I've decided to do this, this could be a big mistake. I could come out on a main road in a minute and wish I hadn't done this. See what I mean? And, and be nowhere near Loxton, apart from walking on the main road. So I could be making a terrible mistake because there was no sign back there. It also means if I'm doing this, I won't be going back to Winscombe. I will be heading for Loxton Church. But all I don't want to do is end up on a really busy road, dangerous road as well, in, a, in a, about five minutes time. When I could have gone up to the peak and down through a wooded area, which I normally do. But if we are exploring, we need to try different areas in order to say we know the area well. Now people who know this area say, oh Sheila, you're going down again. You're, you're going to come out on a road. I mean, I know all the arguments. But I always thought the path went right round the peak. And came to that big hotel. Of which I can't remember the name of at the moment. But you can see it stuck on the hill. I feel like it's taking me there. So I'm quite happy to do that today. It will make up for the strenuous climb back up that hill in, uh, earlier in the bush um, and brambles I had to do in the heat um, which was very exerting so I'm going to sacrifice the actual peak where there are cows by the way so I'm going to go down here but I've never done this before as far as I know, I've never walked this side of the peak before. So it's all a learning curve. The problem with that hill there, that road, there's nowhere for walkers. Um, it's a fast road. It's narrow. Um... I've cycled it and it's very, it is just dangerous. So I'm hoping I'm not going to end up on it in a minute. Because there looks to be something down there. Is that, is that the road or is that water? I think that could be water there. Well, this is still a pleasant walk. There's nothing to stop me saying, well, why don't you just walk round, nip up to the peak and go back to Winscombe. See, there's still alternatives once I get to that hotel of de decisions what to do. I mean, basically, 
is hillier going back to Winscombe. The only hill I got going back to Weston, apart from the odd incline, is um, see that's the way up to the peak. If you wanted to rejoin now, Sheila, you'd have to climb up there because this might take us out on the road, like we said. God, is it going to? Is this going to take me on the road? It does feel like it, doesn't it? So your fears would be justified. We won't know yet. It might still stay up here. Yeah, getting out of Locks on to be hilly. When you follow the West Mendip Way. Then there's a couple of inclines. After that, it's really all downhill. Yeah, look. But, but, look, pathway. This is where a lot of people park. Look at that view. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute.